Hello everyone, Moran McKay here, and welcome back for part 11 of Belia's quest walkthrough. Uh, hopefully we're going to get that next letter from her sister relatively soon. That'll kick off the next series of quests. Tell me honestly, do you like having me as your companion? Yes, of course. You do? I'm glad to hear that. I was a bit worried. I don't feel that I have performed so well lately. Uh, let's just talk for a little while. Of course. Is there anything in particular that you would like to discuss? Tell me about yourself. One thing I enjoy here in Cyrodiil is to be able to swim in the waters. That for sure was no joy in Sol's time. The water was icy. I just wish there hadn't been so many slaughter fishes. I find them horrible. There is a little pond outside Skinguard. Bathing there is very nice. We should do that from time to time, you know. Goodbye. Good to see you, friend. Let's just talk for a little while. Of course. Is there anything in particular that you would like to discuss? Tell me about yourself. Have you seen that waterfall close by the road between the Imperial City and Shadenall? There's a hill with a cave at the top of it, and there are often minotaurs in the area. Do you know that place? I think it's one of the prettiest places in Cyrodiil. If I decide to settle here, I'd like to own a house there someday. Talk later. You know, I never really understood why Emma never made like a house mod. I mean, like a like a little cabin mod right there. That would have went along perfectly with the story. Oh well. There are so many beautiful flowers in the area around Skingrad. One day when we're not too busy, I'd like to spend some time just looking at them. Tell me your thoughts. Look, if we cannot find a hairdresser soon, I will have to have my hair cut the way we do it at home. That means that I stand in front of a barn door, and you have to throw axes at my braids until they are the right length. You will soon get the hang of it. It's easy. <laughs> okay. Talk later. There's something I need to talk to you about. You see, I have received a letter from Melinda, and she asked us to help her out once more. Tell me more about it. She says she's in urgent need of two more melting data hearts, and she wonders if we might persuade Aniri to sell them to us. I cannot say that I like the thought of it. Not because of Aniri. She's quite funny. But um, the ghastly smell from those Daedra hearts. Still, Melinda is my sister, so of course I'd like to help her if I can. But um, how do you feel about it? Let's help her. This might be fun. You think so? That's great. I hope that you will feel that way. Let's go and see an area as soon as possible. I bet she will be happy to see you again. She seemed to adore you. So um, I do hope that you will do the talking. Anytime. Quest update. Melting Daedra Heart. Vilya's sister, Melinda, has written she needs two more Melting Daedra Hearts. She wants Vilya and me to find them for her. Vilya suggests we should talk, ask Kaneri again. And I have agreed to her suggestion. I hope these Melting Daedra Hearts will be less smelly than the previous ones. Back to Coral Vio. Tell me your thoughts. That nice young lady blacksmith who runs the March Rider. He always looks so sad, you know. The next time you go there, maybe you could give her a smile. Hmm, maybe.
goodbye. Would you care to buy a lady a drink? Melting day rot. You want more melting day rot? Eh? Have you got any idea how hard it is to prepare such arts? I have to nurse them like babies. Keep them under my pillow while I sleep for weeks. Not that I really mind, but my husband never could stand the special um, scent about them. Not that it matters anymore. <laughs> now that he has left me. <laughs> I didn't know you were married. That's silly. I have a daughter, right? Where did you believe she came from? A spider egg, maybe? Of course I am married. Although my husband has been um, pretty useless for the last ten years or so. Even a goldfish is more talk active. Still, I miss him so much. Poor you. I tell you what. If you convince my husband to return to me, I will give you two melting data hot for free. Not that he's worth it, heartless as he is. But I am still fond of him after all these years. And I miss him when he is not around. I can try. Where is he now? My sister, Ceneri, eloped with him. She has always been jealous of me because of my perfect marriage. She always wanted to steal my husband. You'll probably find them in the Bruma area. That's the right place for Ceneri. She is so ill-tempered that she needs the cold weather to shit off. Hopefully, she is fed up with him by now anyway. One must admit, uh, he's kind of useless. In all departments, if you see what I mean. <laughs> so, this is the deal. You bring back my husband, and in return, I have two melting day rods ready for you. Scenery. My sister has always envied me my perfect marriage and my lovely looks. Serena is a skinny witch with squeaky voice. She has never had any luck with love and she is crap at enchantments. When she tried to convert a frog to a prince, he instead turned into a wood elf broker. I rarely see her nowadays. She's usually in the Bruma area, where the cold winds will chill down her temper to a reasonable level. Good day to you. Poor Haneri. She must love her husband so much. What a horrible sister. I can't even imagine Melinda doing such a thing to me. Let's go to Bruma. Goodbye. Alright, quest update. Vilya wants us to go to Roma as soon as possible and have a word with Henry's sister, Sneri. Okay. Good day to you. Henry's husband. Wait, Sneri. Yes, that's me. Anything I can do for you? Neri's husband. So, my big sister wants her husband back. Well, that's a surprise. She wasn't that eager when he was still hers. Quite frankly, he is a bit boring. Not at all what I had expected. Useless in every department. If you see what I mean. I guess I could let her have him. But that would make me even lonelier. And I hate to be alone. 
If I had a pet, a cat, a dog, maybe a little spider, even a goldfish will make better company than an Aries husband. He sounds very boring. Definitely very boring. Boring, brainless, heartless and cold, just like my old sister. To be honest, I can't understand why I keep him. It will be more fun to have a pet. Would you like to have a pet? Yes. Oh, yes. I had always wanted a pet. A spider, maybe. Or a cat. Or a dog. Yes. A dog. That would be the best. A dog would adore me and obey all my orders. A dog wouldn't stay out all the night like a cat and it wouldn't mess up the house with nuts like a spider. But of course, I wouldn't want a silly common dog like those Ruina Brew and drags along in Charles. No, I want a real dog. A big dog. A wolf. I tell you what. If you can bring me a nice tame wolf for company, Eniri could have her husband back. As I said, he's still pretty useless. If you can bring me a wolf pet, then here can have her. Good. Maybe we could take a stroll along the beach and look for clamshells. Pardon me if I'm wrong, but did you just promise Sereni that we would tame a wolf for her? I would like to tell you my thoughts about that. Mm. Tell me your thoughts. How on none are we supposed to tame a wolf for Sereni? Have you seen the Cyrodiil wolves? Hostile creatures with a glimpse of madness in their eyes. Not at all like the relatively peaceful Solstein wolves. How about importing a Solstein wolf? You must be out of your mind. Importing a Solstein wolf just because Melinda wants more melting Daedra hearts. We cannot do that. And besides, it would take a very long time to bring a wolf here. It's a shame it can't be done though. My father has always been very good with wolves. I think I told you about my wolf, Hogbad, didn't I? I've heard of dog trainers. Yes, they do exist. I believe Gamradel in Chatenhall is quite good at training dogs. Maybe we could ask her. And uh, maybe also the Bruins in Troll. But these people are used to dogs, and we are talking wolves here. Still, let's give it a try. And I write a letter to my father as well. He's good at training wolves and might have some advice for us. Anytime. Let's look at the quest updates. Julia was not too pleased that I promised Sneri to find a tame wolf. She thinks that Cerdo wolves are much more hostile and unreliable than soul ones. After a small argument, we decided to ask advice for some of the dog trainers that we know. Gandanil in Shadenhall and Rihanna and Remus Ramanus Ramulus? Bruent in Coral. Billy will also write to her father and ask for advice, as he is good at taming soul sign wolves. <laughs> 